I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. As you all know that uh, uh, I've, I've, I've been, uh, I embarked on this journey, uh, which uh, seems to be um, yielding so much fruit right now. And uh, uh, a lot of people seem to be uh, talking about it right now, but it is a journey that I embarked on a, a very long time ago. I've been on this journey for close to a year and a half now. And um, as I've been uh, walking uh, this journey, a lot has happened. A lot has been happening. So many people have been coming with uh, a lot of different questions. A lot of people have been coming through uh, with uh, different speculations, different assumptions and all that. But see, um, everyone is entitled uh, to an opinion. So I will not um, a, 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 a be offended by anybody's opinion because we all have opinions about stuff and we all have opinions about different things. But tonight, I just want to address something very quickly. I this I think it was this afternoon, if I'm not mistaken. I posted a message, uh, a, a message that has been circulating in Johannesburg, you know, in, in that church there in Santon. Uh, I posted a message. I actually received that message from close to five people uh, this morning, and they were saying to me, Men of God, uh, did you know that there's a message of this sort that is circulating? Um, you know, the, the Johannesburg pastor and together with the leaders and, uh, and, and, and all the people that they are circulating this, uh, this message, uh, they are circulating this message in their, um, in their WhatsApp groups, in their WhatsApp, uh, platforms and everything. Uh, and the message in, in that message, uh, they were saying, they were saying that they were actually warning their people. It was like a spiritual warning and it, it, it's so... It's so it's so confusing, you know. Uh, it, it's so confusing, and it is so um, it's so heartbreaking, you know. That um, it, it's so heartbreaking to see uh, people who claim to be spiritual spiritualizing something of that sort, coming up with uh, all sorts of uh, spiritual manipulative uh, messages just to try and keep uh, people uh, uh, together and just to try and act as if um, everything is fine and just to try and act as if um, they are not seeing and hearing what is happening. So the message uh, was like, um, uh, you know, as you know that uh, J. Israel, you know, uh, has been doing this and that. I want you to know that uh, J. Israel is working with some people in very high places, which I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of. And J. Israel is working with uh, a lot of pastors, a, a, a lot of uh, people who's working, uh, who are working with J. Israel to do what J. Israel is doing. Because in their heads, in their heads, uh, you know, in their, in their empty heads, I'll, I'll, call, I'll, I'll call them empty heads. In their empty heads, they probably think uh, me coming out with this exposure and coming out with all these things that I'm coming out to speak. Uh, they think somebody is paying me to, um, to come out and, you know, expose everything that I'm exposing. But look, uh, uh, look, um, look at this. There is no way you can speak the truth without exposing a lie, you know, because speaking the truth on its own is exposing a lie. So you cannot be claiming to be preaching the gospel of truth and preaching the, the, the true message of Jesus Christ without exposing a lie. You know, personally, like I said, you know, in the past, I, I, I got tired, I got tired of, I got tired of living a lie. I got tired of living this life that I was living. I got tired of everything, you know. And when I got tired of everything, I decided to leave. And when I decided to leave, I focused on my 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 salvation with christ you know i focused on my my salvation i focused on my spiritual life i focused more on and tell you what i i was dead spiritually spiritually i was dead in as much as i was in this church uh uh, uh with this man of god uh, uh, leading a church at the same time you know, following this man of God, spending time with him. I'm talking about uh, the Johannesburg pastor, you know, the, 
the one who uh, resurrected uh, Lazarus uh, sometime last uh, last of last year, I think. So I'm 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 in this place, and this is a place where I'm supposed to be growing spiritually. You know, I'm supposed to be growing spiritually, but I was not. I was not growing, and then I left. So now I'm speaking my truth, and in the process of me speaking my truth. A lot of people, you know, from that side, you know, um, we have been manipulated. Uh, people have been manipulated. People have been um, brainwashed into 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 believing a lie. I'm I'm telling you, it's sad. It is very sad, and I'm going to address uh, 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 these things tonight on this broadcast without fear, because I, I'm personally I'm, I'm at a place where. I, I don't fear anybody. I do not fear no one. I don't fear anybody. I, I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm not afraid of anything, you know. So they circulated a message that said that I am um, I'm antichrist. I'm antichrist. I'm being used by the devil to do what I'm doing. I actually loved it, that part. And um, I am also... Uh, I am also... Um, working with people in high places, you know, to try and bring them down because, um, you know, God is doing a, a good thing in the, you know, in that pastor's uh, life and uh, what God is doing there, da 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 da, da is, a, is a good thing. And uh, pastors have tried to bring him down, but they can't bring him down. So right now I'm coming out uh, and, and they are using me. You know, first and foremost, before I even uh, 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 finish the message, there was one part that really caught my attention. One part of the message that really caught my attention, that they are circulating, you know, from one person to the next, one person to the next, you see? So this part, <laughs> I actually laughed. I, I really laughed so hard when I was reading that part. There's a part where they were saying, actually, J. Israel is the one who orchestrated the uh, be, uh sorry the the resurrection stunt is the one who orchestrated the resurrection stunt and um eh, 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 after he orchestrated the resurrection stunt he actually wanted he, uh, uh, he was trying to bring down the men of god bring down the pastor and uh, bring down the church and stuff like that oh oh oh, oh, oh. hold on hold on just just hold it right there you know, hold it right there before, before you circulate your lies, before you, you put me in things that have got nothing to do with me. Listen, I, I'm, I'm not afraid of uh, 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 anything, you know, I'm not afraid of anybody. <laughs> that, that's one thing that uh, I, I must always put out there. You can call me Antichrist. You can call me whatever you want to call me. But the truth remains. Your pastor is a fake pastor. You know, I'm talking about this Johannesburg pastor. He's not a man of God. He's a fake pastor. And wherever he is, if he's watching this video right now, I know he's probably watching with a fake account, you know. He's probably watching right now with a fake account. If you are watching this video, you are not a man of God. You are a fake man of God. Don't put me in your things, you know. Do not put me in your things. I, 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 I did not have anything to do with your resurrection uh, uh, stunt, <laughs> you see. It, 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 let's let's take it bit by bit. Let's take it bit by bit. A coffin was brought to the church. Okay, a coffin was brought to the church. After the coffin was brought to the church, you men of God. Okay. By the way, we have decided to stop calling you guys men of God. You together with your uh, cohorts that you are, uh, 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 a, 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 you know, in friendship with, in, 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 in a friendship of denial with, you know, you are in denial of friendship. You and the Pretoria, the UK, and all the other so-called prophets and so-called pastors uh, uh, everywhere. Now, look at this. Now, you, uh, 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 Mr., you, you, Mr., you, you, you are a charlatan. You are not a man of God. You are a charlatan. You are a thief. You know, you are a thief and a robber. You, 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 when, when the coffin was brought to the church, you went on to uh, open the coffin and you did your things like this with your hands. I don't know what you were doing there, you know. He did things like this with his hands, you know, and he started speaking in tongues. Roko, Zoto, Tatar, you know. 
So if you were speaking in tongues and if you are a true man of God, why did you not see that this is a lie and somebody is trying to bring you down? Uh, come on, man. <laughs> you know, uh, why didn't you see that this is a lie? Somebody is trying to, um, a, 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 somebody is trying to bring you down. Why did you not see that? You see, why did you not see that? You know, don't, 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 play, don't play that game because it's a very dangerous game and, and, and you are actually uh, digging a, a, a very long grave for yourselves, you see. So, you raised the man. The man, you know, uh, you, that you raised, you raised the man. The man came back to life, supposedly. Came back to life wearing a white suit with a phone in his pocket. I don't know who he was going to call, wherever he was going. Maybe he was going to give you a call in heaven or in hell and tell you that, listen, I arrived safe. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just saying, you know, it's actually very funny when I was reading this message. They are circulating this message to innocent people. They are innocent people who know nothing about this thing. And they see, they hear that J. Israel is attacking the church. But they don't know that J. Israel is not attacking the church. J. Israel is speaking the truth. J. Israel is exposing the truth. J. Israel is coming with, uh, with some, you know, uh, uh, some facts, you know. These are facts. These are things that are happening. You know, these are things that are happening. These are things that are going on. So I see a lot of people coming to me saying, oh, no, preach the, preach the gospel. Preach. You cannot preach the gospel without exposing evil. You cannot preach the gospel without exposing evil. That is number one. You cannot speak the truth without exposing a lie. That is number two. You know, so I want everybody to understand that part that uh, there is nobody who can expose, uh, who can speak the truth without exposing a lie. So everything that I'm doing, I believe that God is using me. I believe that God is using me to do everything that I'm doing right now. And I just want to put it on record. After the man was uh, 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 resurrected, uh, who cooked for him? Let's, let's start from there. If you're saying that I'm the one who... Uh, if you're saying that I'm the one who... <laughs> Who, 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 who orchestrated everything. Why did you cook for him? Why did you give him rice? You know? Why did you give him rice? And I see their minions. I see their, their shallow-minded minions always coming to my account, coming to my uh, page, coming to post things on my account and coming to uh, defend things that they don't know. Uh, let, let me just warn you. All these uh, uh, minions, you know, these ads, who always come here to my account, uh, you know, Speaking things that you don't know, trying to defend things you don't know. You know, wh why do you think that your pastor is quiet? Okay. He is quiet because he knows the truth. He will never come out to, uh, 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 to attack what I'm saying. He will never come out to speak against what I'm saying because he knows that I'm speaking the truth. You know? And tell you what, I've been in touch with some of the pastors from that church, from that cult. I've been in touch over the past few days with some of the pastors who are still there right now, who are still there right now, who are still serving there right now, in as much as they are serving there right now, they know the truth, you know? They know the truth, and they, 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 they are calling me to say, man of God, we really thank God for what you are doing, you know? Uh, these things have been happening for a very long time. We didn't know what to do with this. We didn't know what, uh, uh, how, to, uh, how to handle uh, uh, such issues. You know, thank you so much for exposing all these things. You know, I believe that you are saving a lot of people. And now your own pastors are calling me to, to say thank you. And some of these uh, shallow-minded uh, fools, you know, we have never at any point sat down with, that, uh, uh, with, with the resurrection pastor. They've never sat down with him. They don't, they've never even touched his hand. You know, I'm giving you first-hand information of things that uh, go down, uh, 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 things that go down, things that you don't know. You understand? And just a few, uh, uh, I think two days ago, one of the bishops, one of the bishops, uh, one short bishop like that, who's been uh, probably sleeping with the whole church, sleeping with a lot of girls. You know, this is not even... Uh, 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 an accusation, but I talk to the girls that he's been abusing. You know, I, they, they inbox me, they come for counseling, they are seeking help, they, they, they don't know how to go about this. I'm too old to be making these things up. I'm too, I'm too old, you know.
to be to be coming up with uh, these funny things like this. this year this year they will regret the day they ever met j israel in their lives this year they will regret the day that they ever uh, uh, associated themselves with me all the charlatans and false prophets that have ever been associated with me at any point this year they are going to regret this year they are going to curse the day i was born i'm telling you because i'm i'm a fearless man i fear nothing you know i fear nothing i fear nobody and i fear nothing so yeah 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 marshmallows i'm too old i'm too old i see somebody says is the london pastor fake yeah he's fake the london pastor is very fake the London pastor is very fake. The only thing that he knows is to come out and speak big words, you know, trying, uh, uh, claiming to be preaching deep revelations. Uh, those are all messages that he Googles on. He, he goes there, he takes uh, Pastor Chris messages. He comes there, he will begin to uh, redistribute them in his own way. So anybody who would like to hear from the London false prophet, they better just go and listen to Pastor Chris messages because all the messages, they come from him. So... He's fake. He's fake. I'm not talking nonsense. I'm not talking things that I've heard. I'm talking first-hand information, you know. First-hand information. I'm talking about a man I invited to my church uh, when I was still in East London. And he came there. He prophesied things uh, 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 that he was, uh, information that he was given to one of his boys that he came to uh, uh, East London with. So I'm not just speaking nonsense here. You can't be doing that. You can't be defending things you don't know. You can't be defending people you don't know. Do you know how many girls that I'm talking to right now that were abused by these uh, uh, charlatans? Do you know how many girls were raped, sexually assaulted by these charlatans that I'm talking about? And free. You know, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And to all those people who are commenting on my Facebook and saying, oh, if you have evidence, why don't you bring it now? Are you, are you a judge? Are you a major street for me to give you evidence? No, I know what I'm doing. The, all the evidence that I have will be presented to the right people, will be presented at the right time. I'll take out all the evidence that I have at the right time. Right now, I'm still speaking. If they have power, why are they not stopping the division that I'm bringing to the body of Christ? If they are true men of God, why are they not stopping the division I'm bringing to the body of Christ? Why would one young man like J. Israel, born on the 19th of, on the 18th of December 1992, 27 years of age, and all of the, some of them are 40, some of them are 50, why would they allow a 27-year-old boy like me to bring a, 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 to bring confusion to a whole body of Christ if they are true men of God and they say what I'm speaking is false let them prove it let them come out to say what I'm saying is nonsense it doesn't exist let them come out to speak wherever you are as you are watching me right now you are your own prophet go on your knees and use your knees to pray time the time of uh, depending on prophets, depending on uh, uh, fire apostles, depending on uh, 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 all these people uh, 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 to say, they'll pray for me. No, the covering of my father is upon my life. Oh no, because I'm protected because of my father's prayer. Do you know where he is? Do you know how he spends his day? Hmm? Do you know how he spends his day? Anybody who is a fake prophet who lies to people in the name of the prophetic is not my friend. Anybody who uses the prophetic to scam people, who uses the prophetic to lie to uh, innocent people is not my friend. You know, we don't meet anywhere. We don't meet anywhere. We don't meet anywhere. I see somebody say, where is Alf's wife? I don't know. I don't know. Why, why, why don't you uh, go there to Johannesburg and ask them? I don't know. I came out tonight and I wanted to address a, 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 this a, a issue of uh, Johannesburg, you know. This issue of Johannesburg, of their a, a, a message that they were circulating around in their groups the whole day, you know, telling each other that J. Israel is an antichrist, he's being used by the devil, and uh, J. Israel, uh, we must not listen to him because he's an antichrist. He's being used by the devil to bring confusion to the body of Christ. The nonsense. You are not part of the body of Christ. You are not part of the body of Christ. The Santin Church is not part of the body of Christ. It is not part of the body of Christ. That's a cult. 
is not in the body of Christ. It's a cult. You know, that's not a church. It's a cult. So that is why I'm addressing it the way that I'm addressing it. A lot of people are logged in that place. They are logged in there, you know. Different cults across the country. Coming down to the other post that I posted about our local uh, uh, pastors here in South Africa. You know, I saw them. They went ballistic online. The other one posted, oh no, me when I went to J Israel. Uh, then I'm like, so why are you panicking? <laughs> why are you running? Why are you running? I saw these pastors going on Facebook. You know, this one would take my picture and put it there and say, no, me, I want you to know that when I went to J Israel, he did not give me anything spiritual. He did not um, uh, initiate me to anything. Oh, why are you uh, running to go and defend yourself before I even mention your name? I said I'm going to mention the names of the South African pastors, you know, who are involved in the cults. I said I'm going to mention the names of the uh, South African pastors who are involved in the cults, who are part of the cults, you know, who came to me at some point and they wanted to be introduced to the, cult, uh, to, uh, to the cults. Some of the South African pastors, some of the uh, local pastors during those days, during that time, came to me and said, man of God, I'm ready whatever that you want me, whatever that it is that you want me to uh, 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 do, I'm ready to do it so that my church can grow. I'm ready to make sure that uh, whatever, is it money that you want, how, how much should I pay? Some of them, I even told them that, no, 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 me, I can't do nothing for you, but I'll have to take you somewhere where we can go together and then you can be initiated into the cult. And these are pastors who are leading churches here in South Africa, and I'm seeing some of them are watching right now, you know? I'm seeing them. Some of them are watching me right now as I'm talking. They are watching right now as I am talking. One of the pastors who's here right now is watching now. I remember at some point he came to me and then I took him to the sea in East London. I took him to the sea here in East London. I took him to the sea. I said, let's go to the sea. I washed him with water there at the sea and I wanted to do stuff for him. But then I, I, I decided to stop. He's watching me right now. I can see him. So all these pastors, local pastors who are going around on this uh, social media speaking nonsense, you better repent. You better repent, come out and speak it for yourself, repent, or I'll, I'll definitely uh, call out your name, you know. I'll call out your name because you cannot be a, 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 a being hypocritical out there. You cannot be a hypocrite in the streets of Facebook so that people can clap for you and say, no, you are a true man of God. You are a true man of God. You carry so much revelation. You carry so much uh, uh, knowledge, you know. You are, you know, you are the true man of God. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's gonna be, 2020 is going to be a long year and nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me and nobody can say nothing about the journey that I'm embarking on. It's a very dangerous journey and I know about it. it it's going to be a long year. It's going to be, you better get ready, brace yourselves because this is just the beginning. If you thought, uh, if you thought that uh, J. Israel is playing, I see somebody said, you better clean your closet because they are going to dig your past. I don't have a past. <laughs> I don't have a past. My past is buried in Christ. You know? My past is buried in Christ. My past is buried in Christ. Do I have a past? Yes, I do. But it is buried in Christ. What is it that I was doing in the past? Oh, yes. Am I proud of it? I'm definitely not proud of it. Was it bad? Was it wrong? Very bad and very wrong. Are you proud of it? I'm not proud of it. You know, so, um, yeah, so definitely I'm, 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 I'm bringing it out. So if they want to go and dig into my past, they can dig as much as they want to. You know, they can dig as much as they want to, but my past is buried in Christ. My past is buried in Christ and I'm not there anymore. You know, I'm disconnected from my past. Yeah. I've personally made a personal confession of the things that I was doing that none of you ever knew or ever thought that I was doing. I spoke about it. That means my past is, is, is buried in Christ. You know, so I am a new creation. I am not afraid of anything. I am not afraid of anybody. All my skeletons in my, in my closet, in my cupboard, under my bed, I've put them out there in the world for the whole world to know that this is what I was doing and this is what I was up to. So, yeah. 
Jay, they will come up with the rape cases. Watch. Uh, well, you know, the truth will always prevail. The truth will always prevail. The truth will always prevail. In my entire life, in my entire life, ever since I was born up to today, do you know how many women, do you know how many women have been throwing themselves at me, wanting to sleep with me, old, young, do you know how many of them but I've been running away from them. Do you know up to now how many women are trying to throw themselves at me, but I still run away from them? In my entire life, I've never been in a position where I have to find myself a forcing a, a, to sleep with a woman and forcing a woman to have a sexual intercourse with me. I've never done that in my life, and I don't foresee myself doing that at any point. You know? So... Uh, it, it, it rape for what for, for who rape for what you know <laughs> rape for what um, I, I never that uh, can never happen it can never happen and it will never work it will never work so everybody who's watching me now you know uh, 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 this is the beginning of the revolution wherever you are watching from put fire let the fire burn let the fire burn on social media, in your corner, in your area, let this fire burn. Let the fire of this revival burn from your corner. Whatever that you know that is wrong in the church, that is wrong in the body of Christ, put it out there. Let us deal with these things. It is time for a spring cleaning in the church.